So, a little while ago, I went to this Comic-Con, in which I got this old Doctor Who magazine filled with a bunch of Doctor Who stuff. And in this magazine, they had a page with official Doctor Who merchandise from galaxy4.co.uk. And it's got a bunch of fun products on it. So I went to go check it out, and the website looks like this. And they have a bunch of really weird products, and I'm going to show you some of them. So we're going to start off with the TARDIS short jumpsuit. And it looks like this. And the guy who's wearing it looks really, really sad. I feel kind of bad for him. But also, just look at it. Who would wear that? So you know when you were watching The Eleventh Doctor and you saw a sonic screwdriver and really wanted it as a spork? Well, Galaxy 4's got you covered with the Doctor Who spork. Now you may realize that you can't really see the product because the image is cropped. And you can't really see the other image because that's also cropped. Hey look, it's made with loot crate. The only way to actually look at it is to click on it and go into full screen. Then you can look at it, and it's exactly what you expected. It's a spork that looks like a sonic screwdriver. Who made this? This is the kind of official Doctor Who merchandise the fans have been asking for. Spoon. This next one's a weeping angel hoodie, and it doesn't make you look insane at all. Okay, this next one's actually kind of cool. So it's like a canine remote control thing. That's kind of neat. Let's see what it's all about. Wait, hold on. What's that? Important message. We should probably read that. This model no longer works as a remote controlled toy with newer smartphone operating systems. Sold as a discounted collectible figure. Well, then if it's not a remote control figure, don't make it look like it's a remote control figure by showing it as a... So this next one's just some collectible action figures from the first four series of Doctor Who, so let's look at those. There can't be anything wrong with those, except for the terrible image quality. Right, so so far it's looking fine, it's just bad images, and just the characters, so what, what, what can go wrong? <laughs> what kind of pose is this guy doing? <laughs> oh, does, does the Scarecrow not get a package? Or does this... He doesn't get a package either. Wait, hold on. We already saw a picture of this guy. Wait, oh, hold on. Just look, look. It's the same picture. Why would you do that? Like, wow. Okay, so the next one is just a regular action figure. And then this, this is just a, a different picture of one we already saw. Why would you do that? This is the perfect amount of quality for the official Doctor Who merchandise. Alright guys, here's our finale, the 13th Doctor action figure. So it looks all fine until you'll move over to the next page and realize, hey, that's not how bodies look. Why, why does it look like that? But the arms and the, it just, it just doesn't match. Alright, I guess it looks fine. You, you're supposed to put the coat over it anyway. It looks okay. Let's see what the next picture is. <laughs> what? What kind of picture is that? What? What? Why would you show this? You're just—it's just like there's the lighting and it's just a terrible quality picture, and you're not even showing the whole package. The one's upside down. Okay, here's the name. What? Oh, it's just the top half of the package, and it's all like broken, and there's all like the the creases and stuff. What? Why would you show this? And this is the official Doctor Who merchandise. You know, there are some questions in the universe that we can never really answer. Such as, are UFOs real? What is the meaning of life? And, why does this man look so sad? He needs help. Someone go help him. 